بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو اینادر ویڈیو ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس اسالٹ ایگزامپل ود ریفرنس ٹو لائن بیلنسنگ الگورتھم لائن بیلنسنگ پرابلمس آر اویلیبل ان چیپٹر نمبر ففٹین آف ایم پی گروور بک سو یو کین پریکٹس آن دیم دس از اسالٹ ایگزامپل example 15.1 and we are going to uh, discuss this one <coughs> so in the problem uh, this table is uh, given to you uh, which shows uh, basically a list of different operations uh, that will be performed uh, in uh, assembling the product and this product is an electrical appliance uh, which will be assembled in an assembly plant and a total of uh, 12 operations are involved uh, in this particular scenario. Uh, 12 operation means uh, 12 assembly operations. Uh, the um, operation descriptions uh, are available. Ke kya operation ho uh, and then uh, the TEK values are also given. Uh, TEK is basically the operation times. تو اگر فسٹ آپریشن کو آپ دیکھیں تو اس کا ٹوٹل پروسیسنگ ٹائم جو ہے وہ پوائنٹ ٹو منٹس ہے اینڈ سو آن سملرلی تھرڈ فورتھ کالم کو اگر آپ دیکھیں تو اٹ گیوز یو دا لسٹ آف پری ڈی سیسر فار ایچ آف دا آپریشن لائک فار ایگزامپل آپریشن نمبر ون اینڈ آپریشن نمبر ٹو کو اگر آپ دیکھیں تو دے ہیو نو پری ڈی سیسر دس مینس دیٹ دیز ٹو آپریشنز آر independent operations and you can start uh, them uh, at any time uh, and you can assign these operations to any of the workstation uh, either uh, independently or simultaneously you know so you don't know operation where of simultaneously a workstation could be assigned kar sakte hai. because because none of them are uh, dependent on uh, some other operations uh, however uh, from 3 to 12 agar aap dekhte hai to Uh, every operation has uh, some predecessors uh, like operation number three has a predecessor uh, uh, one so you cannot assign your uh, in other words you can say that you cannot start operation number three unless uh, operation number one uh, is completed and so on uh, fourth quarter of the keto in the predecessor you have a one or two have so fourth operation cannot be assigned to any of the workstation uh, until you have completed operation number one and two. Okay. So here basically uh, this, uh, these predecessors uh, provide you the sequence of operation that in which sequence you will uh, perform the tasks. Uh, from this table uh, you will uh, generate the uh, precedence diagram uh, which shows the graphical representation of uh, those work elements work elements means those operations and the uh, the sequence uh, in which uh, those operations must be performed uh, and this is the problem statement uh, with that particular table uh, which gives you the necessary data uh, that uh, what is the annual demand or uh, available time kya hai aur uski basis pe aapne performance measures jo hai wo uh, find karne honge <coughs> you know so let me Uh, start the presentation I will just uh, read out the uh, problem statement first and then we will further discuss it so we have a small electrical appliance uh, that has to be produced on a single model assembly line you know, so as discussed in the previous video that uh, we will only be discussing uh, single model assembly line single model assembly lines are for mass uh, production setups in which only one type of product will be produced okay? so there are problem also available uh, with reference to uh, mixed model assembly line uh, just for batch production of uh, uh, job shop scenario mein, to wo aapke course mein nahi hai, you know? so we will be only uh, concerned uh, with uh, single model assembly line you know? so chapter number 15 mein, بہت سے پرابلمس ہیں لائن بیلنسنگ کے تو اس میں آپ نے جو سنگل ماڈل اسمبلی لائن سے ریلیٹڈ کوشچنز ہیں وہ آپ نے سالو کرنے ہوں گے 
So the work uh, content of assembling the product has been reduced to the work elements listed in the table below. So table I have told you. In that work content, we have discussed that it is basically summation of all the operations. Jitne operations honge, so, so, so in this case, we have 12 operations. Or in sub 12 operations, ko, uh, uh, divide kiya gaya hai uh, categories mein aur uski list jo hai wo provided hai table mein along with the uh, operational types and the predecessors uh, the line is to be balanced for an annual demand of 100,000 units per year so you should note this statement the line is to be balanced aapne is line ko balance karna hai or balancing algorithm you have to use you know? so this is uh, these are other uh, parameters that you have to find uh, you know, uh, determine ke baad A you have find karna hoga, B, C or D, E in addition to that you will also finally have to balance the line or uh, demand rate you have wo available hai, 100,000 units per year you have uh, demand hai to ye aapne achieve karni hogi through uh, your design <coughs> the line will be operated 50 weeks per year uh, 5 shifts per week and 7.5 hours per shift and this is the total available time uh, that you have uh, to achieve uh, this demand so baaz aukaat jo hai wo weeks uh, diye hote hain baaz aukaat jo hai wo aapko days diye honge shifts diye honge you know so it will depend on problem to problem normally weeks jo hai wo uh, per year uh, 50 uh, weeks hote hain working weeks uh, ye standard hai so 50 ya 52 uh, so agar problem mein ye given na ho <coughs> to then uh, you will take either 50 or 52 wo aapki marzi hai fir jo bhi aap figure lete hain manning level will be uh, one worker per station you know, so manning level jo hai wo one worker per station hai. so this means that if the total number of workers are five this means that you will have five work stations you know, so so jab aap uh, num, total workers uh, find kar lenge to eventually that will be uh, your desired work station also so m is equal to 1 this case uh, previous experience suggests that the uptime efficiency for the line will be 96 percent so line losses are also uh, given uh, four percent where yeah, well, line losses hai. so the actual efficiency of your system is basically 0.96 you know so 0.4 point four uh, jo hai, uh, wo, uh, delays hai aapki. <coughs> uh, repositioning time lost per cycle will be 0.08 minute so repositioning time bhi given hai tr so uh, last uh, video agar aapko yaad ho to usme main aapko bataya tha ki if the repositioning times uh, are given so then you will have to uh, subtract that from the uh, theoretical cycle time of the system jo ke tc hoga jo ke aap find karenge you know so first you will find uh, the cycle time uh, the theoretical cycle time uh, that will be tc और उससे फिर आपने ये repositioning time जो है वो subtract करके आपके पास जो actual available time system में आपको मिलेगा वो आपका आ जाएगा T with a prefix S जिस आप TS कहते हैं station time या service time determine total work content time यानि जो total operations है उनका collective time क्या होगा uh, TWC so we denote karte hai. B is the required hourly production rate uh, to achieve that particular annual demand of 100,000 units per year okay. so RP you have find karna hai. and accordingly uh, aapke paas, uh, cycle time jo hai, wo because RP or cycle time ka jo relation aapko bataya tha, inverse relation hai. So, T uh, C is equal to 1 by RP ya RP is equal to 1 by TC और अगर line losses given है तो फिर आप जो है वो उस E factor से आप multiply करते हैं and uh, one thing more that uh, I uh, discussed in the previous video is that normally uh, the cycle times are given in uh, minutes and uh, standard 
जो प्रोडक्शन रेट के लिए है वी नॉर्मली कैलकुलेट प्रोडक्शन रेट इन टर्म्स ऑफ आवरली बेसिस सो यू हैव टू कीप दैट पार्टिकुलर सिनारी इन माइंड दैट इफ द साइकल टाइम्स आर गिवन इन सेकेंड्स और मिनट्स सो यू विल हैव टू कन्वर्ट दैट इन टू आवर्स सो आपने साइकिल टाइम फाइंड करना है फिर uh, और सर्विस टाइम आपने फाइंड करना होगा टी एस क्योंकि टी आर की वैल्यू गिवन है विच इज़ पॉइंट जीरो एट मिनट सो फर्स्ट यू विल फाइंड टी सी एंड देन यू हैव टू सब्रैक्ट दैट टी आर फ्राम दिस साइकिल टाइम एंड यू विल गेट द टी एस वैल्यू सो लेट मी गो बैक टू द लिस्ट ऑफ द टेबल दैट वॉज दैट इज प्रोवाइडेड सो समाइम्स यू विल बी गिवन डायरेक्टली द प्रेसिडेंस डायग्राम जोग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन है वही आपको गिवन होगी एंड फ्रॉम दैट यू कैन इजीली एक्सट्रैक्ट दिस टेबल और अगर टेबल गिवन है सो यू कैन इजीली एक्सट्रैक्ट दिस प्रेसिडेंस डायग्राम फ्रॉम द टेबल ठीक है ना सो या तो आपको टेबल गिवन होगा या आपको प्रेसिडेंस डायग्राम गिवन होगा सो सपोज Uh, you have a table and you want to generate the precedence diagram so uh, just look into the operations uh, and within those uh, look for the independent operations that you can assign uh, at any time without any reservation you know, so we have two uh, operations uh, that they have uh, no predecessors which is operation number 1 and 2 so this means that Uh, we can uh, start with operation number one and operation number two. So similarly, uh, other uh, elements. So work element number one ko agar ab dekhe aur work element number two ko agar ab dekhe, so I can start uh, drawing the uh, precedence diagram from uh, these two work elements. Because in ka koi predecessor nahi hai. So one or two jo hai, uh, wo main graphically show kar dunga. and then later on i can assign these two independent operations either to single workstation or uh, two separate workstations so that will depend upon the scenario and other factors uh, so beech mein jo center mein uh, node ke hai wo work elements hai aapke uh, operation numbers bata raha hai and uh, the figure above the node gives uh, you the uh, operation time of that particular work element सो वर्क एलिमेंट नंबर वन और वर्क एलिमेंट नंबर टू जो है वो आप सिंपली ड्रा कर लेंगे देन वर्क एलिमेंट नंबर थ्री को अगर आप देखें तो इट हैज अ प्रीडिसेसर व्हिच इज ऑपरेशन नंबर वन सो आई विल मेक अनदर नोड विद लेवल थ्री एंड इट्स प्रीडिसेसर इज वन सो आई विल सिंपली जॉइन वर्क एलिमेंट नंबर वन टू element number थ्री सिमिलरली फोर्थ एलिमेंट को अगर आप देखें तो इसका प्रीडिसेसर जो है वो वन और टू है सो आई विल मेक अनदर नोड विच इज़ नोड नंबर फोर एंड इसके जो प्रीडिसेसर हैं वो ऑपरेशन नंबर वन और ऑपरेशन नंबर टू है सो आई विल मेक टू एरोज कनेक्टिंग वर्क एलिमेंट नंबर वन एंड फोर एंड देन सो वन और टू इसके प्रीडिसेसर हैं सिमिलरली फिफ्थ को अगर आप देखें तो इसका टू है तो मैं फिफ्थ का जो है वो सिर्फ टू के साथ कनेक्ट कर दूंगा सिमिलरली सिक्स सेवन और एट को अगर आप देखें सिक्स सेवन और एट का सिक्स और सेवन के प्रीडिसेसर जो है वो थ्री है और एट का अगर आप देखें तो दैट इज थ्री एंड फोर सो सिक्स का थ्री है सेवन का थ्री है और एट को अगर आप देखें सो इट्स थ्री डिस आर थ्री एंड फोर ठीक है एंड सिमिलरली यू विल फाइनलाइज द प्रेसिडेंस डायग्राम सो दिस इज बेसिकली अ ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ऑल द ऑपरेशन एंड थ्रू दिस ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन यू कैन इजीली लुक फॉर द सीक्वेंस ऑफ ऑपरेशन के कौन सा यानी फॉर एग्जांपल अगर मैं वर्क एलिमेंट टेन को देखूं तो वेरी क्लियरली आई कैन सी दैट आई कैनॉट स्टार्ट ऑपरेशन नंबर टेन अनलेस एंड अनटिल 
ऑपरेशन नंबर एट एंड फाइव हैज़ बीन कम्प्लीटेड और फिर एट को अगर आप देखते हैं तो एट कैन नॉट बी स्टार्टेड और असाइंड बिफोर थर्ड और फोर्थ ऑपरेशन एंड सिमिलरली फिफ्थ कैन नॉट बी असाइंड बिफोर ऑपरेशन नंबर टू सो दीज एरोज बेसिकली गिवस द सीक्वेंस ऑफ दोज ऑपरेशन सीक्वेंस मीन्स द डिपेंडेंसीज ऑफ द ऑपरेशन ऑन सम अदर ऑपरेशन सो यू हैव टू कीप दीज रिस्ट्रिक्शन इन माइंड वाइल असाइनिंग द वर्क एलिमेंट्स टू द वर्क स्टेशन सो लेट मी ऑल्सो ब्रीफली एक्सप्लेन द लाइन बैलेंसिंग टेक्निक वट वी डू इन लाइन बैलेंसिंग इज दैट we try to uh, allocate uh, the work station uh, allocate the operations to the work stations in such a manner so that every work station uh, gets an equal amount of work jo uh, ke waiting times hai usko reduce karne ke liye uh, hum uh, equal assignment dete hain uh, machines ko uh, and again Uh, a perfect balance will not will never be achieved kyunki uh, uh, operation time jo hai wo different hi hote hain uh, but uh, we uh, try to uh, minimize the uh, time differences between the uh, work stations and this can only be done if we uh, equally distribute uh, evenly you can say not equally to oh, bilkul nahi ho sakta evenly even distribution aapke paas honi chahiye so uh, ye maine aapko bata diya hai ki ye problem statement hai aur problem statement mein jo given data hai uh, annual demand aapke paas available hai aur uh, usko pura karne ke liye jo available time hai that is given with uh up time efficiency with some line losses and a repositioning time you have to determine the total work content time uh the required hourly production rate the cycle time and the theoretical minimum number of workers uh has to be found out because uh you will have to balance the line and you will have to distribute the total operations among the Uh, workers or among the work stations and finally service time of the fine term of the work so let us start with the solution uh, <coughs> total work content uh, time ko agar aap dekhe to it is simply summation of all the uh, work element times so in this case we have in total uh, 12 work elements so k will be from 1 to 12 So T W C will be simply T E one plus T E two plus T E three up to T E twelve. Okay, this table. So this is T E one, T E two, T E three, T E four up to twelve. Uh, simply, in case of operation time, I will sum up. Sum up. So you have T W C. You know, total uh, content time. You have. So we have. So it comes out to be exactly uh, four minute uh, work content time. Uh, second, you have to find out what is the production rate. And the production rate, I have told you that it is uh, if the cycle time is given. So simply, uh, you can use uh, the uh, relative uh, formula in between the production rate and cycle time. So R P will be equal to one by T C. और वहाँ से आप फाइन कर सकते हैं बट इन 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 सम केसेज लाइक दिस वन इफ़ द साइकिल टाइम एंड द प्रोडक्शन रेट्स आर नॉट गिवन सो यू विल लुक इन टू द अदर पैरामीटर्स और दूसरे पैरामीटर्स अगर आप देखें तो प्रोडक्शन रेट इज बेसिकली एफिशेंसी ऑफ द मैनुफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम एंड मैनुफैक्चरिंग एफिशेंसी को अगर आप देखते हैं तो एफिशेंसी इज सिंपली आउटपुट डिवाइडेड बाय इनपुट आउटपुट ऑफ एनी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम और असेंबली सिस्टम विल बी द टोटल नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स दैट विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय दैट पार्टिकुलर सिस्टम एंड हियर द डिमांड रेट इज गिवन व्हिच इज हंड्रेड थाउजेंड यूनिट्स पर आवर पर ईयर 
so uh, the total output of the system will be 100,000 units so jo ke annual demand hai so aapka output jo hai that is the annual demand and to fulfill that demand to achieve that demand uh, you have uh, some available time so during that time you have to complete that particular demand. so these are the input resources to uh, complete your output so output divided by input is the demand rate divided by the available time and available time is 50 weeks into number of shifts on those 50 weeks and then you have number of hours in uh, one shift you know so simply uh, multiply them so you will uh, come come up with the uh, total available time you know? so uh, put in the values uh, 100,000 divided by 15 to 5 7.5 uh, this data is available so the production rate uh, comes out to be 53.33 units per hour and once you get the production rate so you can then easily find the cycle time so third is the cycle time uh, there is inverse relation between the production rate and cycle time so tc is 1 divided by rp you know? but uh, you have to calculate tc in minutes so uh, rp jo hai wo hourly production rate hai so per hour hai to per hour ko per minute pe jab aap convert karenge to 60 aapka upar chala jayega so that is why we we have this 60 figure in this formula and similarly the line losses are also given so if the uptime efficiency is given so again you have to multiply uh, the cycle time with that factor also so your uh, theoretical cycle time comes out to be 1.08 minute uh, using uh, this particular formula okay. so agar for example production rate aapke paas minutes mein hai so then uh, it would be simply uh, tc equals to 1 by r okay. and if the uh, efficiency uh, uptime efficiency or line efficiency is uh, not given so it would be then 1 by r agar uh, efficiency given hai, so E by RP hai. Or agar, for example, ye hours mein hai, then it is 60 by RP into E. <coughs> so, uh, cycle time is 1.08 minute. As far as the uh, number of workers are concerned, so, worker ka last video mein mein aapko bataya tha, ke, uh, simply, uh, jo aapke paas total number of operations hai, uh, operation time hai, yani us time ko aapne achieve karna hai ek uh, particular cycle mein uh, which is the cycle time you know? so total work content time divided by the cycle time will give you an average number of workers uh, that must be uh, present within the system so average number of workers means number of workstations because manning level you have one hai so if the number of workers like in this case is 4 this means that theoretically we should have uh, 4 workstations also so or uh, number of workers or yeah, number of workstations yoga uh, that will be uh, some integer and that in integer must be equal to or greater than uh, your calculated value so if it is a round figure like for example 4 or 5 so y value only but if it is in fraction uh, like in this case if it is 3.7 so you will then uh, jump to the next higher figure uh, because you cannot reduce the number of workers uh, agar 3.7 crop 3 lete hai, so this means that uh, you are minimizing you are reducing the number of workstations so number of workstations jab aap reduce karenge iska matlab ye hai ki you are increasing the cycle time and when you increase the cycle time so this means that you are decreasing the production rate of the system because cycle time and production rate as uh, they have inverse relation so and they directly affect uh, each other so if you increase the cycle time uh, production rate will be decreased if you decrease the cycle time production rate will increase so if it is like for example 3.001 so you will have to take uh, you will have to jump to the uh, next half figure which is 4 so theoretically uh, the minimum number of workers uh, for this system uh, must be 4 workers 
और फोर वर्क स्टेशन टू अचीव दैट पार्टिकुलर डिमांड विच इज हंड्रेड थाउजेंड यूनिट्स पर आवर पर ईयर एंड देन फाइनली वंस यू फाइंड द साइकिल टाइम टी सी आपके पास आ गया है सो देन यू कैन यूज दिस फार्मूला टी एस का मैंने आपको बताया था जो सर्विस टाइम है या स्टेशन टाइम है इट इज सिंपली टी सी माइनस टी आर टी आर गिवन है पॉइंट जीरो एट सो आपके पास जो एक्चुअल अवेलेबल टाइम होगा दैट इज वन मिनट थोरेटिकली आपने फाइंड कर दिया है कि अगर ये प्रोडक्शन रेट आप अचीव करेंगे तो यू विल अचीव दिस पार्टिकुलर डिमांड एंड फॉर दिस प्रोडक्शन रेट यू मस्ट हैव अ साइकिल टाइम इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो मिनट बट द एक्चुअल साइकिल टाइम दैट विल बी अवेलेबल टू यू आफ्टर रीपोजिशनिंग ऑफ द वर्क पीस इज आफ्टर रीपोजिशनिंग ऑफ द वर्कर्स द एक्चुअल अवेलेबल टाइम फॉर मशीनिंग विल बी वन मिनट सो जो लाइन बैलेंसिंग फार्मूलेशन आप करेंगे इट विल बी बेस्ड ऑन दिस फिगर ऑन वन मिनट नॉट ऑन वन पॉइंट जीरो एट मिनट रिमेंबर दिस वन सो थोरेटिकली नंबर ऑफ वर्कर्स और नंबर ऑफ वर्क स्टेशन इज फोर एंड देन नाउ यू विल फाइंड फॉर द एक्चुअल सिनारी जब आप लो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन करेंगे तो क्या आपके पास आ सकता है सो दीज आर द पैरामीटर्स दैट वॉज आस्ट एंड देन बैलेंस एफिशेंसी जो है वो आपने फाइंड करनी होगी फाइनली जब आप लाइन को बैलेंस कर लेंगे सो दैट वी डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर दैट इट विल बी इम्पॉसिबल टू कम अप विद अ परफेक्ट बैलेंस लाइन हैविंग नो लॉसेस ठीक है ना लॉसेस होंगी losses will definitely be there and you will have some uh, balance delays or balance delays ko nikal ke jo actual efficiency aapke paas aayegi usko balance efficiency kaha jata hai so so your possible uh, performance measure will be the balance efficiency uh, which is the work content work content time divided by the total available service time aapke paas jo hoga theek hai so in this case you you have the service time so agar repositioning time available nahi hai to fir aapka balance efficiency jo hoga that will be twc divided by tc so for this example we will have twc in total work content time divided by the service time uh line uh ki jo balance efficiency hai uh, that is रिप्रेजेंटेड एज ई विद प्रिफिक्स बी सिंपल ई जो है उसको लाइन एफिशेंसी कहा जाता है जो लाइन लॉसेज आपके पास आती है बैलेंस एफिशेंसी इज डिनोटेड बाई ई विद प्रिफिक्स स्मॉल बी एंड एज आई सेट दैट बैलेंस एफिशेंसी विल बी द टोटल वर्क कॉन्टेंट टाइम यानी जो अवेल जो जो ऑपरेशनल टाइम है आपके पास वी हैव ट्वेल्व ऑपरेशन एंड द टोटल टाइम ऑफ दो ट्वेल्व ऑपरेशन इज फोर मिनट फॉर दिस एग्जाम्पल सो दैट फोर मिनट टाइम दैट फोर मिनट ऑपरेशनल टाइम विल बी अचीव थ्रू सर्टन साइकिल टाइम विच इज इन आवर केस वन मिनट तो ये फोर मिनट का टास्क जो है वो आपने वन मिनट में अचीव करना होगा सो साइकिल टाइम को आ, आप नंबर ऑफ वर्कर के साथ मल्टीप्लाई करके वो अचीव कर सकते हैं सो so, जिस तरह इस केस में आपके पास टोटल वर्क कंटेंट टाइम जो है वो फोर मिनट्स है सो वी हैव फोर एंड थियोरेटिकली इफ वी हैव four work stations so we can achieve that uh, with uh, one minute cycle time so four into one will be one and we will have a perfect balance uh, which practically will not be possible okay. so theoretically jo hai wo uh, jo ideal conditions mein aap calculation karte hain so you can come up with uh, this solutions
So anyhow, the balance efficiency that will be the total work content time divided by uh, cycle time into number of jitne bhi workers hai ya jo bhi workstations hai. So if it is equal to one, this means that it will be a perfectly balanced line. Uh, but it will always be less than one. For example, 0.9 uh, oh, 5 hoga ya 0.96 hoga ya, ya 0 0.90 hoga. You can have 90% hai. Uh, and rest will be uh, the delays. Uh, delay is denoted by small d. So if uh, balance uh, efficiency is 0 0.95, this means that 0.5 uh, percent jo hai, ya 5 percent jo hai, wo, uh, delays hongi. So balance delay will be uh, 1 minus EB ka jo bhi aega. Uh, and then uh, sometimes if let us say the balance efficiency is not given and directly you want to uh, find the delay so EB jo hai, that equals to TWC divided by WTS. So simply uh, put its value. So it will be 1 minus TWC by WTS. LCM nikal ke aapke paas ye aajayega. So you can first find the delay and then uh, rest will be the uh, balance efficiency or you can find uh, the balance efficiency and the pending will be the uh, delay. Uh, again, uh, if your D equals 0 this means that it will be a perfectly balanced line uh, they are complement of each other uh, e b uh, plus d will always be equal to uh, 1 okay. so agar aap ke solution mein e b or d aapne find kiya and if uh, is not equal to 1 uh, less than 1 hai or greater than 1 hai this means that uh, your solution is not correct. So you will have to revisit your formulation. So finally, uh, you can find uh, the balance efficiency uh, independently. Uh, you will find the line losses, uh, line efficiencies bhi hai or aapke paas uh, repositioning efficiency bhi hai, agar repositioning time hai. So you uh, basically have three types uh, of efficiencies that you can uh, come up with. Uh, finally, if these three factors are available in your problem, in your problem statement, mein, so then you have to find these three factors and you have to collectively multiply it and an average value that you have to find. So overall efficiency of the labor uh, Jo hai, uh, wo factors hai, uh, which uh, reduce the productivity of the, uh, the, uh, the labor uh, jo manual assembly line hogi. so line efficiency is basically denoted by E and it is the, uh, the availability of the line any, the, uh, the time for which the line will be actually available for uh, operation uh, repositioning efficiency uh, is the repositioning loss, losses and it is represented as uh, E with the prefix R uh, or balance efficiency of the parser just from E, B, C uh, denote karte hai. So finally, uh, agar aapne ye tino calculate karni ho, to jo uh, cycle time or production rate mein jo relation hai, usse aap E find kar sakte hai. You know, ye formula jo aapne use kiya hai abhi. You know, so we can we can find e so e will be uh, tc into rp divided by 60 uh, eb as i said that it is equal to the total work content time divided by the cycle time and number of workstation or er jo hai, again it will be output by input you know so sub output by input hai. so losses ko agar aap deke, jo repositioning losses hai so er will be your output is the actual time that will be available to you which is the actual processing time and that is denoted by TS yeah. and input is the total available time uh, is the total available cycle time which you have theoretically find TC 
So Ts by Tc will be the early positioning efficiency. And then you can put in the value of Tc, uh, Ts, uh, Ts jo hai wo Tc minus Tr. So either you can use this, agar for example Ts given na ho, repositioning or cycle time given ho, so you can use this formula, otherwise this formula uh, Eb. So anyhow, uh, E, R, E, B and E, uh, after uh, calculating, uh, you can uh, take them collectively to come up with the uh, overall uh, labor efficiency of the uh, system. So it will be uh, a simple product of E into E, R into E, B. So assembly uh, line labor efficiency is E into E, R into E, B. So using this measure of labor efficiency, you can come up with a more realistic value. And uh, uh, as far as the uh, number of workers or number of workstations are concerned, so simply W jo hai wo aapka, uh, TWC divided by TC hai, uh, but if the uh, line efficiency or if the uh, uh, repositioning efficiency or balance efficiency is given, so you can come up with a more a realistic value for the number of uh, workers also uh, by using uh, those figures. So TWC jo hai wo, uh, uh, simply uh, W jo hai wo TWC divided by TC hai. Uh, but uh, the repositioning and balance efficiency if they are there so you have to multiply uh, the TC with uh, those values also. And TC ko bhi in terms of agar aap jo production rate wala formula hai this one uh, you can uh, find E and then you can find uh, put in this value. So finally, aapka jo aa jayega, uh, uh, Tc is uh, 60 E divided by Rp. You know, so Rp upar chala jayega aur 60 E jo hai Tc ke jaga aa jayega. You know? So uh, 1 by Tc is basically Rp divided by 60 into E. You know, baki wo hai. Uh, so you can use this formula, you can use this formula, or you can use this one. So as uh, ER into TC is TS. You know, you know, you know, ER or TS, TC ka jo relation. So you have to pass out so uh, that will depend on the parameters uh, which you will have. You know, so if you have, for example, production rate hai or three efficiencies, then use this formula. If there are these values, then you can use these. Similarly, you can use these ones. You know, so any one can be used. Finally, these are the parameters that you have asked and if you have given efficiencies given or efficiencies you have found, then you can use this formulation to do this finally. The other part of the problem was the line balancing. You have to balance the line so as to achieve that particular demand rate which is 100,000 units per year. So for line balancing, uh, we have three standard algorithms uh, available which are normally used ki jati hai. Uh, largest candidate rule hai ek, uh, other is Kilbridge and Wester method and third one is rank positional weights method. So we will discuss them one by one. So let us uh, first start with the largest candidate rule. Largest candidate rule may uh, basically, there are uh, uh, three or four steps involved in each uh, method and uh, the only uh, difference between uh, these three methodologies uh, is the uh, first step. First step is different hai, uh, and then uh, the remaining steps are exactly the same. You know, so once you know one rule, so you will easily then uh, understand the uh, other two. So the steps that are involved in largest candidate rule are uh, these uh, just uh, 
list them first. Uh, first step is uh, the arrangement of the uh, table uh, that was given to you. So it was a random table uh, uh, and they were arranged on the uh, basis of the operation number. Okay, operation number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you have to uh, uh, rearrange the table in terms of the TEK value and that uh, rearrangement uh, will be in the descending order. So TAK values kya hai? Ye operation times hai. Uh, largest as the name implies that we will select, we will try to assign the largest candidate first. Largest candidate means those those operations or those candidates uh, whose operation time is uh, maximum. This is because uh, if you have uh, left with operations which will have minimum processing time, so uh, then it becomes very easy for us to adjust uh, those uh, small uh, operations in uh, different slots uh, with different workstations. Then a other machine may have a time slot available hai or you have a come time wala operation be available hai to you easily pe usko assign kar sakte hai. Otherwise for example if you have uh, a time slot uh, left in a workstation for example uh, 0.2 minute ka time you have available hai and suppose you have a candidate whose processing time is 0.5 minutes so which is the uh, which is greater than 0.2 minutes so wo aap assign nahi kar sakenge and eventually you will have to uh, then introduce another workstation within the system kyunki aapne uh, us demand rate ko achieve karna hoga so uh, let me first read out all the steps so the first step is that you will have to rearrange the table in descending order of the TEK values. Uh, then uh, after a rearrangement of the table, uh, simply you will have to uh, start with the top of the table and then you will select the, uh, the feasible element uh, that can be assigned to the workstation. You know, so you have uh, operations are going in descending order mein, uh, time uh, operation time ke reference se, or phir us mein se aapne selection karni hogi ye kaun sa operation jo hai wo kis workstation ko aap assign kar sakte hain uh, feasible element means aapne ek do uh, uh, aapki jo restrictions hai aapki jo conditions hai wo aapne follow karni hogi and conditions are uh, two uh, one is the uh, time slot ke time uh, kitna available hai workstation pe aur dusra jo element aap assign karenge kya wo precedence requirement uh, fulfill kar raha hai ke nahi kar raha uh, precedence requirement means jo sequence hai wo aapka follow ho raha hai ke nahi ho raha hai okay, so you must follow the sequence of operation uh, in addition to that uh, you should also take care of the uh, available time uh, in a machine ke jo uh, available time ka slot aapke paas hai kya usme wo uh, adjust ho sakta hai ke nahi ho sakta and for this example the actual available time which is the cycle time is 1 minute in our case theek hai na t se hamara 1.08 aaya tha lekin 0.08 jo hai wo usme repositioning time hai to wo subtract karke actually you will have one minute so you will have to uh, adjust those operations keeping that one minute time interval in uh, consideration and uh, so uh, this is the second step and it is the assignment of the uh, feasible work element to a workstation so once you assign an operation uh, then uh, the third step is again uh, the second one so uh, you will again have to go back to the top of the table and then you will look for another feasible element and that will be assigned you know so step number two or step number three jo hai, wo phir aap, uh, repeat you know? uh,
So you will understand these steps through uh, the rest of the slides. So uh, this is the first step, uh, the work elements uh, arrangement and that arrangement is according to the descending order of the TEK values. So this table, if you look at the work element number 3, the operation number 3, the uh, operational time is more than which is 0 0.7 minutes and then uh, rest of the uh, elements. So this descending order of TEK values. So descending order, if you look at the table, the top of the table is the first one, the work element 3 is coming, then 8, 11, 2 and so on. और उसके जो भी टेबल में गिवन था प्रीडिसेसर वो डेटा भी जो है वो आप इस टेबल में लिस्ट कर लेंगे सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप एंड नाउ सेकंड स्टेप इज असाइनमेंट ऑफ द वर्क लोड टू द वर्क स्टेशन और असाइनमेंट जो है दैट दे आर द असाइनमेंट ऑफ दीस जॉब्स और दीस ऑपरेशंस बेसिकली टू द वर्क स्टेशन so finally, when you assign the uh, operations to the workstations, uh, this uh, will be uh, the final result. Uh, uh, your result will something look like uh, this table. You know? So this table, if you see, then you have five uh, workstations are there. And theoretically, when you have found them, so they were four. You know? So uh, this means that practically when you do assignment, you will have losses and this assignment jo hai, they were also on the basis of uh, the actual available time which is the TS value and TS is 1 minute. So on the basis of 1 minute cycle time, uh, the total number of workstations or the total number of workers you can say comes out to be uh, 5. Or uh, per Stations, हर एक station को ये सिर्फ मैं final result इसलिए आपको पहले बता रहा हूँ कि you understand the scenario. Okay. So the table that you will make uh, after the first step is uh, this one. You know, आप एक simple table बना लेंगे uh, which will have these four uh, columns uh, with the labeling uh, station, uh, work element, third आपका T E K value होगी which is in minutes or uh, station time. Station time in this case is one minute. You know, pass TS where wo one minute hai. And that one minute is the available time. Phir uh, aapne assignment karni hoogi. So, agar uh, largest candidate uh, rule ke through mein assign karta hu operation to station number one ko chaur oper uh, operations where wo assigned hai two, five, one or four and this is basically the sequence of those operations which must be performed. And finally, if you look at this machine, this machine's total uh, utilization time is exactly one minute. Hai. So one minute means that uh, it is 100% utilized. Then uh, if second workstation hai, or second workstation, if you look at this, then two uh, operations or two work elements are assigned. और इनकी यूटिलाइजेशन अगर आप देखें तो 81 परसेंट है। तो दिस मशीन इज अंडर यूटिलाइज्ड। यू नो अलमोस्ट 20 परसेंट टाइम जो है उसका आइडल टाइम है। थ्री uh, को अगर आप देखें तो 98 परसेंट है। सो दिस आर बेसिकली मशीन यूटिलाइजेशंस। सो लेट मी नाउ स्टार्ट विद दिस टेबल। so, पहले तो आप टेबल जो है वो बना लेंगे लाइक दिस फोर कॉलम्स और स्टेशन वर्क एलिमेंट टीके और स्टेशन टाइम आप देखेंगे देन ये जो फर्स्ट एलिमेंट आपने असाइन करना होगा ये आप किस तरह करेंगे सो दिस इज द सेकंड स्टेप सो फॉर असाइनमेंट यू मस्ट हैव एट लीस्ट वन स्टेशन यानि एक स्टेशन तो आपके पास सिस्टम में होगा सो एस टू कंप्लीट दी टास्क ठीक है ना अगर एक वर्क स्टेशन के थ्रू आप ये सारे ऑपरेशन करते हैं तो भी ठीक होगा दैट विल डिपेंड अगेन ऑन द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट बट ओवरऑल यू कैन से दैट यू मस्ट हैव एटलीस्ट 
one uh, one machine in okay uh, there were some issues so that, that, that is why I passed the video so let me start again with the uh, second step uh, so I was talking about the uh, number of workstation so uh, at least uh, you should have uh, one workstation within the system so as to start your work so for that uh, you have to install uh, one workstation let me start the presentation uh, so this uh, this is the rearranged table and uh, as I said that uh, you will have to start from the uh, top of the table and we look into the first feasible element that you can assign to the uh, first workstation so first element ko agar aap dekhe, uh, and what will be the feasible element feasible element will be that element which will not violate the uh, precedence uh, uh, rule and the uh, time rule uh, time rule aap ke paas one minute hai available or precedence requirement ye hogi ke uh, agar ek element aap assign karte hain to uska predecessor pehle assign hona chahiye ek machine ko so now if we uh, start from the top of the table so uh, the first work element is work element number 3 uh, its operational time is 0 0.7 minutes so this means that uh, we can assign the, assign this particular work element because uh, the first machine that will be available uh, has not yet been uh, assigned any other uh, work so pura ka pura slot jo hai wo abhi first machine pe aapke paas available hai which is 1 minute so 0.7 minute ka task jo hai wo aap assign kar sakte hain but if you look into the uh, precedence requirement so its predecessor is 1 or uh, operation number 1 jo hai wo abhi assign nahi hua so this means that you cannot assign this particular work element yet now the second work element wo bhi aap assign nahi kar sakte because it also has the predecessor so this means that the first the first element that you can assign to the first machine will be an independent operation yani wo operation aap start kar sakte hain jo ke independent operation ho which is operation number 2 and operation number 1 you know? so ye aap assign kar sakte hain ya aap one assign kar sakte hain you know? and now this assignment will based upon the 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 type of rule that you are using and uh, we are using the largest candidate rule largest candidate rule mein we have arranged this table in terms of tek values in descending order so we uh, try first to assign those work pieces those operations uh, which have the maximum time you know so so in the table the first feasible uh, that comes in my listing is operation number two uh, which has no predecessor and its operational time is 0.4 minutes so i can assign this particular uh, operation to uh, the first workstation so jo aapka table hoga which is this one which will be consisting of these four columns station uh, work element or tek values or station time so station number 1 aapne jo hai wo uh, start kar liya hai and you have assigned work element number 2 to this particular station uh, its operational time is 0.4 minutes so 0.4 minutes ka slot jo hai wo agar aap 1 minute se nikal le so still you have 0.4 minutes uh, not 0.4 minutes uh, 0.6 minutes available you know? so is station ka jo abhi uh, operational time hai wo 0.4 minutes hai you know? or total time aapke paas 1 minute hai 
so still you have 0.6 minutes uh, slot uh, left in this particular uh, workstation so uh, as I told you that you have to repeat step number two and step number three Step number two, I have started with step number three, when you assign it, you again have to go back to the top of the table. So that, it uh, is possible that there is a work element which has predecessor uh, two. Ho. You know, so two you have already assigned it, so now you will be able to select that operation uh, whose predecessor will be uh, or would be uh, operation number two you know? so what I will do is that after uh, assigning uh, this work element to the first workstation I will go back to the top of the table this arrow red arrow indicates that you always you have to start from the top of the table uh, so go back to the start of the table and then again look for the second feasible element that you can assign so now uh, I can assign that element uh, which will either be independent ya to uska koi uh, predecessor nahi hoga or uh, ya wo element jiska predecessor uh, 2 hai and second restriction is that of our time the time slot that is now available is 0.6 minutes because you have 0.4 minute ke liye ye machine busy hoga 0.6 minute ka task uh, jo hai wo aap assign kar sakte hain so i will look for the the the, uh, the elements which will have operational time 0.6 minutes or less than 0.6 minutes you know? so ye 0.7 ko to hum assign hi nahi kar sakte you know? so i will look for the second which is 0.6 it can be assigned but uh, their predecessors are 3 and 4 and operation number 3 and operation number 4 are not yet been assigned to any of the workstations so I cannot assign this work element so the next is 0.5 minutes 0.5 minutes can be assigned because we have 0.6 minute but again their predecessors are 9 and 10 which are not yet been uh, assigned uh, next we have second have already assigned kar diya hai uh, uske baad hai, this is work element number 10 uh, work element number 10 ka bhi predecessor jo hai 5 8 hai jo ke bhi assign nahi hua uh, the next candidate is work element number uh, 7 iska predecessor 3 hai jo assign nahi hua next candidate is 5 work element number 5 uh, iska predecessor jo hai wo Two hai. so two has already been assigned to this workstation so this means that now we can assign this operation to uh, the first uh, station also uh, its operation time is 0.3 minutes and the available time within this slot is uh, 0.6 minutes so we can assign this so the next feasible element that we can assign is uh, work element number five you know this one you know so five jo wo aap assign kar sakte hain so uh, these will be now the sequence of operations so we have started with the second operation uh, it will be assembled to the base component and then work element number five will be assembled its assembly assembling time is 0.3 minutes or 0.4 or 0.3 ko aap add up kar le so uh, you come up with 0 0.7 0 0.7 means that still you have 0.3 minute time uh, slot uh, left in workstation number one. So after selection of a feasible element, it is a repetitive process. So you have to go back to the start of the table and then again look for the next feasible element. So now we have a time slot of point uh, three. So simply look for uh, uh, the elements whose uh, operational time is 0.3 or less than 0.3 okay? so here you have list so beneath that you can select uh, some of the uh, elements so if I see 9th so its predecessor is 6, 7 and 8 which has not yet been assigned so we cannot assign this one uh, 
नेक्स्ट इज ऑपरेशन नंबर वन पॉइंट टू मिनट का स्लॉट है आई कैन असाइन दिस एंड इट हैज नो प्रीटी सेसर तो दिस इज द द मोस्ट फिजिबल एलिमेंट विद इन द लिस्ट दैट आई कैन असाइन टू दिस पार्टिकुलर स्टेशन सो माई नेक्स्ट सेलेक्शन फॉर स्टेशन नंबर वन विल बी दिस वन सो वर्क एलिमेंट नंबर वन एंड इट्स ऑपरेशन टाइम इज पॉइंट टू एंड द टोटल टाइम फॉर विच दिस स्टेशन विल बी बिजी इज नाउ पॉइंट नाइन मिनट्स पॉइंट फोर प्लस पॉइंट थ्री प्लस पॉइंट टू इज पॉइंट नाइन स्टिल वी हैव पॉइंट वन मिनट स्लॉट अवेलेबल इन दिस पार्टिकुलर वर्क स्टेशन सो नाउ वी कैन लुक फॉर एन एलिमेंट विच हैज एन ऑपरेशन टाइम इक्वल्स टू पॉइंट वन मिनट और लेस देन पॉइंट वन which is the only candidate uh, in the last jo ke uh, work element number 4 hai tari uh, uh, step wahi hoga ke after selection of the feasible element simply go back to the start of the table and then in the ascend descending order look for the feasible element so uh, point 1 minute ka hai if you look into the predecessor so 1 or 2 1 and two both operations have been assigned so this means that uh, this candidate is fulfilling both the requirements uh, the time slot requirement and the precedence requirement so this candidate can also be assigned to the first workstation so we will have workstation number 1 in uh, assembly system uh, which will perform four different tasks and these are the sequence of those tasks and the operational time now what operation uh, station number 1 ko agar aap dekhe to this station has now been fully utilized 100% utilized kar diya hai aapne because we do not have any uh, additional uh, slot Uh, within uh, this particular workstation so this means that eventually you will have to install another workstation in this system so as to uh, achieve that particular demand we can assign more operations to uh, station number 1 also but it will increase this cycle time of the system so अगर आप साइकिल टाइम इंक्रीज करते हैं दिस मीन्स दैट यू विल बी रिड्यूसिंग द प्रोडक्शन रेट जब प्रोडक्शन रेट आप रिड्यूस करेंगे मीन्स दैट यू विल नॉट अचीव द डिजायर डिमांड रेट जो कि हंड्रेड थाउजेंड यूनिट सो बेसिकली यू आर डिजाइनिंग अ सिस्टम टू टू अचीव दैट पर्टिकुलर डिमांड रेट विच इज हंड्रेड थाउजेंड यूनिट्स पर ईयर विथ अ साइकिल टाइम ऑफ वन मिनट Uh, so uh, now you have to install a second workstation. अब second workstation आपने install करना होगा और उसको आपने assign करना होगा ठीक है ना सो ये आपका लास्ट कैंडिडेट था तो सिंपली गो बैक टू द टॉप ऑफ द टेबल एंड नाउ लुक फॉर द फर्स्ट फिजिबल एलिमेंट सो अब वर्क एलिमेंट नंबर थ्री को अगर आप देखें तो नाउ फॉर द नेक्स्ट मशीन वी हैव वन मिनट टाइम you know because uh, no work has yet been assigned to uh, the second work station so is ka time agar aap dekho operational time 0.7 minutes hai and uh, the available time is 1 minute so we can assign this uh, now look for the predecessor it is 1 so 1 has already been assigned to the first work station so this means that now we can assign this work element to uh, the second work station so our next assignment will be this red color shows the assignment of the second work station so uh, work element number 3 can be assigned to this work station its operational time is 0.7 minute and this machine uh, whole time whole operational time comes out to be 0.7 uh, 0.7 means uh, 0.3 minute ka time ya slot jo hai abhi aapke paas is work station mein uh, available hai so now you can again look for uh, another uh, element whose operation time is uh, 0.3 or less than 0.3 uh, 
and if it also fulfills the uh, predecessor uh, the precedence constraint criteria so then you can uh, assign that element to uh, this workstation also so now uh, again start starting from the uh, top of the table so the next available uh, element is work element number 8 uh, uska predecessor agar aap dekhe to 3 or 4 hai so we have assigned third and fourth element so uh, precedence requirement aapki fulfill ho rahi hai but if you look into the time slot so this uh, operation has a processing time of 0.6 minute which cannot be assigned to this workstation because the available slot slot is 0.3 minutes so agar ye aap assign karenge again you will be increasing the cycle time of the system you know which will directly affect the production rate so this uh, cannot be assigned you know this is this can be assigned but it is not the feasible element uh, that you can assign to workstation number 2 next is 11 uh, 11 jo hai 0.5 so simply you can look for a, a candidate whose uh, operation time is uh, uh, 0.3 or less than 0.3 so 0.3 ka slot jo hai wo yahan se start ho raha hai so the next uh, fifth has been assigned ninth element ko agar aap dekhe uh, 0.27 but their predecessors are 6 7 and 8 jo ke bhi assign nahi hue so you cannot assign this next is uh, one assign ho gaya hai operation number 12 operation number 12 ka predecessor jo hai 11 hai aap nahi kar sakte next is 6 uh, 6 aap assign kar sakte hain because uh, its predecessor is uh, 3 and 3 has been uh, assigned to this uh, particular workstation so the next feasible element uh, that we can assign to uh, this uh, uh, second workstation is work element number 6 okay? and its operation time is 0.11 or uh, 0 0.81 uh, again we cannot now assign any further task to uh, this workstation uh, because uh, there is not a single feasible element available right now which can be assigned to uh, this one so eventually you will have to uh, go for a third workstation also you know so you have to install a third workstation in the system you know or third workstation you have wo, Y procedure hoga, starting from top of the table uh, 3 or 4 jo hai, wo aap assign kar chuke hai. so now you can assign uh, the 8th element uh, whose processing time is 0.6 minutes this one or 0.6 minute ke liye aapne jo hai, isko busy kar diya hai. so still you have a time slot of 0.4 uh, minutes uh, so now look for a candidate whose time will be equal to 0.4 or less than 0.4 and who will fulfill the precedence requirement also you know so 0.4 si niche agar aap dekhe to uh, 10th element jo hai wo available hai but it, their predecessors are 5 and 8 8 has been assigned uh, 5 ko agar aap dekhe to 5 has been assigned so this means that you can assign this work element number 10 to uh, this machine so 10 jo hai wo aapne assign kar diya and similarly uh, the rest of the machines can be so this will be your uh, final answer and this is that simple uh, three step scenario uh, that you will adopt uh, using the largest candidate rule you know? so now actually agar aap dekhe to theoretically jo aapne find kiya tha so we uh, we had uh, found we come up with a solution of uh, four workers and four workstations you know? but actually when you take into consideration the precedence requirements the sequence uh, that must be adopted and the uh, the available uh, time slot which is one minute so based on that uh, the actual solution is uh, for actual scenario uh, is uh, five uh, workers or you can say five uh, workstation within that system so once you come up with uh, the balanced solution so which is this one uh, 
uh, and uh, you can see the utilization of the machine scale uh, machine number one you have 100 percent this is basically the excel file that i have generated uh, <coughs> 100 hai, uh, 81 hai, 98 hai. So, you have uh, some uh, uh, how even distribution of the workload among the first three workstations. Uh, but uh, intentionally, Grover uh, book me example jo hai, wo kuch is ka data given hai ke none of uh, the, uh, the rule will give you uh, an, uh, a good solution uh, which you can say. You know, so, it is an average solution in which you can see that. Uh, jo, uh, workstation number 4 hai, or workstation number 5 hai, uh, they are quite uh, uh, underutilized in this utilization agar aap dekhe, 60 percent hai iski bhi almost 60 percent hai Yani for for 40 percent of the time uh, these machines will be idle uh, which is uh, not a good solution uh, but this is because of the data uh, provided by the book you know, so finally uh, you will uh, show uh, these arrangements uh, on the uh, precedence diagram. You know, so for example, one ko agar aap dekhe, to isme two, five, one, or uh, four ka sequence hai. So uh, this is the precedence diagram, and assignment of the work element of station number one are these four elements. Uh, ye station number two hai. Uh, this is station number three, uh, which will perform. Uh, the 8th and 10th task uh, station number 4 jo hai, space 7th or 9th element assemble honge. and finally you have the 5th station hai, work element number 11 or 12th assemble honge. so this is the assignment of the, uh, the operations on the precedence diagram and this will be the actual uh, physical sequence of the assembly system uh, that you have designed yeah, so, you have the physical sequence, hoga, arrangement, in uh, actual scenario, mein, uh, it will be uh, five workstations arranged in uh, a sequence and uh, these are the sequence of operations that will be performed. So, main conveyor jo hoga system mein, uh, in which the, the base uh, frame will uh, be loaded onto the uh, main conveyor system uh, it will route that to the first station or sub sub conveyor system may uh, element number two five one or four jo hai ye is sequence may aayenge and they will be assembled you know so first uh, work element number two will be assembled to the base component then work element five one and four so similarly, uh, it is it, this 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 physical representation of the uh, figure gives you uh, both the sequences that is sequences of the machines and then sequences of the operations on each uh, machine or you can say on each workstation. So this is how uh, you will uh, uh, balance the, uh, the the scenario or the system using the largest candidate rule. Uh, finally, the uh, balance efficiency ki taraf aap jayenge, to balance efficiency ka wohi chunke uh, total work content time bhi available hai, uh, TS bhi aapke paas aag gaya hai, which is one minute, aur total number of work station bhi aapne jo hai, wo find kar li hai, which is uh, five. So, uh, the balance efficiency for this system is 80%. Uh, 0.8 means that uh, the 20% hai, wo aapke delays. Hai. You know? So if you have a system in which there are 20% delays, means that it is not a good system. You know? Normally, um, uh, yehi, uh, jo hai, wo assume kiya jata hai ke, uh, if the efficiency is more than 95%, so that will be uh, a good uh, system. So that's it. In the next video, uh, we will cover uh, the next two algorithms, which is the Kilpitch and Western method and the uh, rank position weight method. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much.